my PLO preflop course. But yeah, before we get into it, please make sure to hit all these nice buttons, like, subscribe, bell notification, and all that. And yeah, without further ado, let's now come to the topic. The topic will be the influence of the stack size on your preflop decisions. It's a huge difference if you have 10 big blinds, 20, 30, or 100, or even more big blinds. And we will discuss that in a minute. But before we can do that, uh, keep in mind that these are GTO ranges and this all was made possible by one little nice program. It's called the PLO Trainer. And yeah, if you decide that you need this program as well to improve in Pot Limit Omaha, feel free to use my referral link. It will be in the description or on Twitch, you find it under my about page. This will not increase the price or anything. I will just get a small commission uh, from the buy you made. Yeah, thanks in advance for that. And now we can finally start with the course. So let's increase the size of this. And let's start with the theory part as always. And afterwards we will do some practical examples of the things which change. So first we have a 10 BB SIM. And as you can see, you can raise from under the gun 21%, 24% from middle position, cutoff raises 27, button 33% and small blind 54%, no limping from the small blind. Um, 10 BB pokers relatively easily. Once you make an open, you are committed to get all the money in. And yeah, there's also something, let's say, strange or unnormal happening because the frequencies at which you can raise with decrease with the size of your stack. But there's one difference when you come, when you get very short from 20 BBs to 10 BBs, you can raise more. I mean, compare this to this. So this is a huge difference in all openings. And yeah, this is because uh, with 20 BB, you are not committed yet. Once you make an open, you don't have to get the money in all the time. And there's a lot more play and a stack behind. So yeah, you cannot play as relentlessly as with 10 big blinds. So that's my explanation for this. And yeah, also something else uh, to mention. Um, the first two sims are with GG poker rake and afterwards I used the uh, normal rake scheme. And yeah, for 30 and 50 BB I also have uh, in comparison the GG rake scheme and yeah, and the normal one. I think the normal one should be the one from Poker Stars. And yeah, actually there's not that big of a difference. You can open a bit more um, when playing under Poker Stars rag regime. And yeah, as you can see, you can increase your VPIP once you get deeper. It only it's 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 a bit, but you still you can see. So 20 30 BB the difference is that you can raise 1% more from EP, 1% more from middle position. 2% more from the cutoff, 3% more from the button. And yeah, from the small blind, you're also raising more, but the limping goes down. And yeah, we see again the same thing. If we go from 50 to, well, from 30 to 50 BB sims. So yeah, again, your VPIP increases. And yeah, same thing happening again when you play 100 big blind poker. Interestingly, this is not increasing any further once you get deeper than 100 big blinds. Actually, uh, it's decreasing a bit, as you can see, EP, you open less. I guess that's because you will be out of position most of the time and this is very unadvantageous and it's getting more bad the deeper you are. So position is worth a lot more if a lot of play is behind so if you are deeper position becomes more powerful and you can see then the positions where you're out of position most of the time you actually have to go down with the vpip again 
And yeah, from the position, the best position where you always have got position, you can actually increase your VPIP. Interestingly, it goes down 1% when you get from 150 to 200 big blinds. And also interesting is that you will play the small blind less aggressive, doing less raising, but more limping instead. Yeah, so these are the main differences. And you also, something else, and this is not, this is not um, reflected in the frequencies, but it's something that is a good rule of thumb and which is true. So um, the shorter you get, the more you will raise and re-raise based on equity. So you want to have big cards, big pairs. And yeah, once you get deeper, you can start getting in with more speculated stuff that is depending on having good implied odds, like the rundowns that are not with high cards. Okay. Yeah, I guess we are finished with the theory part now, if there are no questions from chat. And I don't see any, so let's continue. This is also a, a huge topic. I mean, we could do s simulations all day long. Um, but yeah, I've, as we don't have infinite time, and yeah, we have to um, choose a few very interesting ones. By the way, um, Something else I need to mention before we get into the practice part. Um, keep in mind that these sims are all, when, when they say 10 BB and 20 BB, it's assuming that every player has 20 BB. So the effective stack size is the same for every player. In a real game, this is never the case. So there might be people 500 BB steep and others with just 10 BB. And yeah, this usually gives the uh, guy who is the shortest a huge edge because the guy with the biggest stack can only play perfect against one stack size and not against all maybe he has to play imperfect against all stack sizes by yeah uh, he has to make some compromises and the the shortest guy on the table does not have to do that but i still would not necessarily recommend to play as short as possible always because the rake is a factor too and yeah with 10 bb stack you can only win 20 bb if it's an all in against two guys or 30 bb if it's an all in against three guys and the rake will be an enormous factor taking away like five percent of the pot and if you are deeper the rake is kept at some point and the rake percentage you pay is a lot less so that's why um, you should not play short all the time especially i mean there's only one side that allows you to buy in for 10 big blinds and that's gg poker and there also the rake is most expensive i mean it's a clever move from the side's perspective because they definitely maximize their profit by allowing these small stacks because they can take away huge parts of the pot every time there's an all-in but yeah this is not a uh, good for from the player's perspective um, and there's also not a cap money wise on gg we usually take rake in plo based on the big blind and this is it's not capped at like five dollars rake or something like on other sides so keep that in mind and yeah playing very short most of the time is not that good because of the rake factor but yeah you definitely um, can get an extra edge by being able to play against all stack sizes. Most people just specialize on one thing. There are these shorty guys the who are good at playing short, but most of the time not good at playing deep. And they are also the, the vicious, these guys are the most common, the guys who know very well how to play with 100 BBs, but they suck when they when it's get deeper and they also suck when it's getting short. And yeah, obviously, ideally, you want to be able to play every size. And I will also now give you a few tips how you can improve your win rate. And that's actually very easy. Don't rebuy always. I mean, my 
I was always having this approach to be as as much of a predator as possible. So if the fish is short, I would play short. If the fish is deep, I will buy in for as much money as possible. So always try to cover the fish. There's also another trick that will increase your win rate, right? Once you lose a big pot and you will be in the blinds next, don't rebuy. It's way better to be short in the blinds. And also if you buy in on a table, buy in for the minimum. And once you reach a button, rebuy, but play the blinds short. The blinds are a huge disadvantage and you want to be as short as possible because if you have less money, position is less important and therefore you will have less of a disadvantage in the blinds. Okay, now as promised, let's go go to the practice part. Um, what do we want to do? I mean, we cannot go through all these situations with the different stack sizes, which would be way too extensive, way too much, and we would still be sitting here 25 hours from now. So that's why we have to pick spots. Um, I wonder if chat have some recommendations what they want to do. Otherwise, I would have to choose. And yeah, it seems like nobody has any ideas or suggestions. So I have to pick myself. I think we should do um, some raising first in with shorter stack sizes as this is a bigger difference. Let's pick 30 big blinds, for example. I think this is also about the size you can buy it on most sides, other than GG, where, as I already mentioned, the minimum buy is 10 big blinds. And yeah, you can see the difference between 100 and 30 BB is massive. 14 BB, 14% open race from EP. Although in the EP, it's not that big of a deal, but yeah, look at the button. You can open twice that many hands almost on the button if 100 big blinds deep. And the cutoff also is, is a big difference, 1.5 the VPIP when with the shorter stack. So should we do EP2? I mean, EP is not that big of a difference. Yeah, but but yeah, let's let's do it still. So PLO 500, EP, race, raising first in. This, this will take a while and then they will go to our good old buckets training. It's all the, also highly recommended to train all these things for different stack sizes. We will again make this a bit more complicated by increasing the difficulty and we have to refresh the hands. Start the training, make this a bit bigger. And I guess this, this is probably not an open. Oh, that is an open actually, but it's a tiny, tiny mistake. 0 0.03 big blinds only, so not that big of a deal. This should be a race. And as always, we try to get to the 90% threshold. So 90% correct answers we want to have at least this fold. What? That's not a full either. Okay. I mean, this looks quite crappy for, for a small stack. Let's, I want to see again if I, ah, ha, ha. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let's rewind. All this was just crap and bullshit. I uh, forgot to choose the correct stack size. Okay, let's now rewind back and do it again. 30 big blinds. Yep, now it's on. Let's get to the bucket training. And let's increase, although we don't have to increase difficulty much as this is already, although let's, let's do it. I hope the uh, we are not excluding too many hands. So increase this in size. This is we're starting off with an interesting one. I think it's a race still, but a very, very, uh, yeah, very close, but it's a race. Another race. 
Mm, this is probably a fold. No. Oh, look at this. 0 0.01. So this mistake. So nothing to be worried about. So this is an easy fold. Another one. Oh, actually, that's not a fold. Interesting. Okay. This this has to be fold. It is. This is probably close, but I say it's an open, and it is an open. This is a fold. I mean, you get three red way too often, and then you would have to let go. So let's fold. Raising, 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 fold, raise, raise, fold, raise, fold. Not that many tough spots. This actually is a tough one. I wonder if we can raise this one with a shorter stack. Ah, uh, this is actually very, very tough. Probably not a mistake, not a big mistake in either direction, but still. Oh, let's raise. Okay, that's a small mistake. So hands like this are now becoming a fold. That's, oh, that, that's, sorry, I misclicked. This is obviously a raise. I mean, aces are the nuts. So let's, uh, yeah, I mean, can, can I repair this by, oh fuck, no, it seems like this is now locked in. <laughs> Can't get back this one. Fuck. Okay, let's, let's just go back to grinding this one. Fold, raise, fold, fold, fold. Oh, that's actually raise. Interesting. For some reason, we skipped a few. Maybe they will come up in the end again. So this might be a fold. No, it's not. Okay. Good way. Uh, well connected, double suited stuff like this is still a race. That's a race too. Fold. Race. Fold. 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 Raise, fold, fold for sure. Fold again, raising, 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 folding. Uh, probably folding, yep. Uh, raising, I guess. Raising. That's uh, it's, it's a close one, but I go for the raise. The raise is wrong. It's a fold. Let's raise again. Fold, 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 fold. 87 wrong, but I think I skipped a few, so that's a fold. Mm, that's what is this? This is a fold. I had, I had this wrong. That's a race. So, yeah, we I guess we did it. It was just because no answers are locked in for this stuff, and also the aces. Yeah, I once misclicked. So, let's count this as a win. And let's go to the cutoff. Do the same thing for the raises first in. So now we can raise way less than before. Let's get in our bucket training. We still have to keep in mind that high cards and high pairs are now favorite are now why going way up in value so refresh ends start training resize this easy race i say another one another one uh, now it's getting close but i think it's still a race it is that's a fold race 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 Fold, raise, 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 raise. Oh, that's not a raise. Oh, okay, I also wasn't playing close enough attention. I thought, actually thought that this is a uh, single suit, but it's not. Single suit, it might be an open, but yeah, rainbow, it's still a fold. That's a fold. Uh, that's probably a fold. Yep, but very close spot. Uh, raising, folding. Oh, that's again a close spot, but it's still a race. I thought with the weak suit it might not. 
pulled. Oh, that's a tough one too. Chat, any suggestions? Um, let's race. Okay, race is not correct. Race this one for sure. Um, fold. Okay. Race. 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 Fold. Ooh, not a tough one, but. Ugh. Hmm. Lost. Let's race. Race is wrong. Fold. Fold. Race. Fold. Also, I think the. Um, the quality of your suits is, isn't that important anymore, the shorter you get. Oh, this is also something you have to keep in mind. Let's probably fold and let's pull two. Raise, fold, raise, fold, 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 raise, fold. Although, uh, also, um, I recommend that you don't just passively consume this. You should uh, pause and make your own decision before I make mine, and then you look what's the correct answer. This way, you will have get a way better understanding on how to play these spots. Race, race, fold, fold, fold. Ooh, tough one. Uh, let's go for the race, and this is actually a bigger mistake. So stuff like this is not a race anymore. Maybe it isn't even for hundred people. I'm not sure. Oh, fold. Oh, that's only 0 0.01 uh, negative. 90% uh, hitting the threshold exactly, so we can move on to the next. But yeah, I, I would say I still have to do some work in this area, but not that much. So let's also do a race first in quiz for the button and see how we do in this. Keep in mind this, you should be tightening up a lot, not only when your stack is short, but also it's about the effective stack size. So if the both blinds are short and you have 500 pp, the shortest, the shortest stack count or like a intermediate between the two stacks because you cannot play perfectly against both uh, yeah important to mention that uh sorry that i forgot to say this earlier but i think it it's quite of it's kind of intuitive and people know about it so yeah i mean it does not even came to my mind that people might mess this up but yeah obviously people might so that's why i'm mentioning it now uh let's make it more complicated, refresh and start training. Increase size. This is an interesting one. I say it's a fold, and this is correct. Looks very good. For 100 BB, probably an open, but not for 30 BB. Fold for sure. Uh, race. Race. Fold. Well, that's a tough one, uh, but I think probably still raising. Yeah, but you see, very, very tiny, tiny uh, EV you are making here. Fold, raise, raise. Oh, interesting. This is not good enough. Sick one. Um, do I, am I in the right spot? Yeah, yeah. 27% sounds right. Uh, let's raise and raise and fold and raise and raise again. Probably fold. Yep. Raise for sure. Ooh. Sucks to get three bad, but I guess with only two guys behind and position stuff, it's the raise. It is. Uh, raise. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I see double suited semi connect. I always think race, but yeah, for with the short stack, this is not a race. Fold, 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 race, fold, race, fold, fold, race, race, 
fold, fold, raise, raise, fold, raise, more raises, folding, and more folds, raise again, another raise, a fold, fold, another fold, close one. Two big cards. That is huge. Let's go for the fold. Yeah, small mistake. This should be opened. Uh, fold, raise, 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 fold, fold. 94%, not bad. So this needs only a little. Improvement. And yeah, it's it's hard to be perfect in everything. I mean, it's actually almost impossible. Even if you practice this day and night, it will be very hard to not make any mistakes. There are so many combinations. Yeah, just just avoid the very big ones and yeah, try to get to like ninety percent, maybe even ninety four, ninety six if you are very ambitious. But yeah. It will be increasingly harder to um, remove the last bit of inaccuracy in your play. Okay. Um, what else should we do? Um, I think it's. Oops, sorry. Wasn't uh, willing to close this one down. Uh, we could also. Um, Look into cold calling ranges. I wonder how much these are going down. I guess quite a bit if you are sh more short, but let's see. So let's say another gun raises and it's on us. So we should only call 2%. Yeah, this is cold calling ranges go down a ton. So if we make this now 100 BB, we can call a bunch more. The three betting probably stays about the same. Freebet was 6% if I remember correctly. So yeah, you can see cold calling now 14%. Huge increase. So keep this in mind too. When you play shorter, should not cold call that much. It's more of a 3 bet fold situation. And you can start incorporating cold calls more if you... If you are not short. So let's actually do this situation uh, so utg raises we are on the button and we have to decide if we want to cold call which we do about three percent or if we want to re raise which we do about six percent let's go let's also uh, before we get into it uh, look into the kind of hands he's calling and re-raising with still loading this always takes a bit so whoa you just call king king jack jack i all of okay that's that's actually wrong it's two percent so cold call stuff like double pairs yeah looks like this is almost exclusively double pairs uh yeah and some ace king three three which which we are not comfortable three wedding and getting it in also stuff you want to cold call a lot of double pairs yeah it looks like and some red type hands or pairs which are very good connected although this is 16 percent that's probably going into the race bucket but not sure Double pairs and connectors. Okay, and let's now look into the raising hands. Aces, yeah, obviously, let's remove the aces because this is kind of obvious. How long is this taking again? Maybe I, it's time for a new computer. Good kings re raise, also kind of obvious. All kings here, 
and also these very good Broadway hands re rays. It's also kind of obvious. I want to come to the stuff that's less obvious. Ace 10, 8, 7, for example, is one of them. Um, Ace check 9, 8. So this is like, looks like this is close to the rewriting range we use when deep. But it seems to be a bit more high card heavy, although actually the rewriting range when 100 big planes deep is also very high card heavy. We almost always have an ace in the hand, I recognized. Okay, sometimes we also throw in some King Jack 10 9, but we probably also do with 100 big blinds. Mm. Ace King H6, that's a weak one. I wonder if we can still fold. Probably not. No, definitely not, I say. With this short of stack. Um, Ace check 7 5. Ace uh, King 10 9 8. Yeah, I think we uh, saw enough. Let's get into the training. This will be hard to to get right first go, especially when we also increase difficulty as we always do. Mm, I think I have too much stuff open here, so let's. I'm also not sure if I'm on the correct window at the moment, so that's why I will re restart this one. So that's an easy easy re-raise and we also the difficulty is also increased because we now have three options calling raising and folding so yeah but still 90 percent is the goal and if we fail we do it again it's as easy as that um raising for sure raising two. Oh well, look uh, the raises and calls with these speculative hands like King eight seven six or ace king queen six are very close together, so you don't make a big mistake when you just call with a fold. Um, that's a fold, another fold. Uh, this is, looks like the calling type hand. Not sure if we need it to be double suited, but let's see. Yeah, well, single suit is enough. Re-raise, fold. Fold, fold, re-raise, re-raise, fold, tough one. Almost definitely too weak to re-raise with, right? Oh, but can we call or is this just a fold? Lost, I'm lost. Honestly, um, chat. I mean, if we re raise, we probably committed to get it in or might be. So, there we are not happy if this happens. So, this is essentially like if we three bet, it's like three betting, giving our opponent the chance to either get it in or to just call. So, that's probably not a good spot. Let's go with the call. Yeah, call is correct. But we don't make much money. Folding is, you are, can't be blamed too much if you fold. This is either a call or a fold, I think. Um, let's go with the fold. No, okay, that's a bigger mistake. Even although the cards are small, it's still good enough to call. Re-raise, re-raise. This could be a re-raise now, as cards are better connected. <sighs> Let's go with the re-raise. Yeah, re-raise is correct. This, by the way, would not be a re-raise um, when deeper, I think. Almost certainly, yeah. Folding, folding, folding again, folding another one. Uh, this can be a call. Let's call. Yeah, but we don't make much money by calling. Re-raise. 
Ooh, interesting one. Uh, I say it's a call. Yup, it is. And that's probably... Yeah, unsure about this one. Call or re-raise? What to do? Cannot pick this up at the moment. Um... Let's go with the call. Call is correct. Call again. Re-raise. 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 Good. Call. Oh, 0 0.01. So folding cannot blame you if you fold. Re-raise or fold or call. What is it? Um, the gaps are quite big in this one. Ugh. This could be everything, to be honest. Mm, chat, any help? Uh, do we want to go for the call? No. Call is plus EV, but raising is even more plus EV. Although this is very disconnected. Solvers still think it's the most profitable option to re-raise. Re-raise for sure. Re-raise again. Oh, call or re-raise? Call, I guess. Yeah, call it is. Call again. Very close between calling and re-raising. Calling. Re-raising. Re-raising, maybe. Mm, yeah, I guess double suited, although not good connected, it should be re raise. And it's not, it's actually losing money to re raise this one. Hence, like this seem to be just to go in the calling bucket. Hold. Call, I say. And re raise, I say. Okay. Re raise is wrong. Just a call, but yeah, they are close together, so not that big of a mistake. Fold, call, descends, I'm not getting three bet short. Um, close, call I say, and I'm wrong, it's not close, and it's fold. Uh, call, yes, and fold, fold. Call. 90%, very lucky. <laughs> One more mistake and we would have to do it again. Mm, the most important takeaway is that we, this middling rundown type hands are just getting called. Even good doubles, even double suited kings cannot get re-raised if not, if it's not connected to. Yeah, even with an ace blocker, ace queen queen four is not good enough to re-raise. That was also an inter interesting takeaway. And this hand actually was a clear fold, which I also did not expect it to be. Uh, yeah, moving on to the next spot. Let's do. Let's first uh, do some analysis. So let's see how much things change. From 100 to 30 BBs. So if he raises, and we are now in the blind, we want to raise 41%. Uh, not raise, call 41 and raise about 10%. So 41 and 10. And how does this change for 30 BBs? Uh, oh boy, that's actually wrong. Uh, so we call less and raise more. Yeah, that's kind of expected. So the big blind defense frequency also goes down. Okay, let's get into it. This will also be the last one we for today if you want to analyze more sports feel free to, to buy
um, PLO trainer for yourself. I think we already got a quite good understanding on how this works. Um, let's look into the falling hands first. So King King Deuce Deuce Rainbow. So these. Uh, so these, these are all more or less expected calling ends. This could have been a re-raise too, I think, but it's not. Um, queen, Queen, 10, 10. Okay, this is the rainbow ones. Even the, the double pairs with, with queens, which are single suited, don't like the re-raise. King, Queen, Jack, 10, single suited. So it seems like as most of the time we need to be double suited to re-raise. So run down, type hands, call, then they don't have great suits with it. Double pairs as well. Um, yeah, we, okay, I think we, uh, let's look into some more. Okay, I think I now have a quite a good understanding of about the calling range. Now let's look into the re-raising range. Let's exclude ace ace because this is kind of obvious. Okay, I think it's done now. Kings are re-raising a lot, also obvious, especially the ones with an ace too, love to re-raise. Good double suited connected kings, also re-raising, ace, queen, queen, also re-raising, especially if it has two other good cards as well. Uh, the good Broadway hands with an ace, being double suited also qualify for re raise. No, let's look into the more surprising bluff type re raises. Although these are probably not getting bullet anymore once re red got in. How much more do have I to go? Have I to how much more do I need to go down in order to find something that's not expected already. Yeah, you see the re raising is just it's very high card and high pair heavy so far. And yeah, nothing changed yet. So single suited kings seem to be enough to get the money in. Oh, Ace King Eight Six is one of the more speculative ones. Check Check Ten Nine Double Suited. Yeah, seems reasonable too. Let's go to the absolute bottom of these things. Oh, even Rainbow Kings sometimes want three bet if we are a bit connected. Yeah, so all these re rails are high cards or high pair hands. Oh, although it was, I think it was like a 6655 double suited in there too, but that's about it. So, as already mentioned before, very high card and high pair heavy, the re raising range. Okay, let's, let's just jump into the training. You've seen enough. Again, increasing the difficulty as always. Refreshing hands, starting the training. Increase the size of this, but you can see this better. Sorry. And let's go. Easy fold. Probably a call, I say. Nope, still a fold. 
Oh, no, no, no. Re-raising is what we want to do. So, ace block are very strong. Call, I say. It is a call. Call, I say again. No, this one is getting re-raised. But, yeah. It's close between the two, but re-raise it is. Let's fold. Oh, actually not. I mean, I have to keep in mind that we already got one uh, BB invested and that we get a discount. So these hands become a call. And then this should be a call too. Oh, this is very, very close. 0 0.05 BB better than a fold. Fold for sure. Uh, fold again. Fold. Fold. Call. Re-raise. Re-raise. Fold, I guess. Okay, that's very, very close. And re-raise. Fold. Re-raise. Oh, interesting one. I guess double suit queen should be a re-raise. Yep, re-raise it is, but it's close between re-raise and call. Uh, this can go either way. I think it's not a fold for sure, but is it a re-raise? I think it's not. Uh, it is actually. Uh, I would have considered it re raised more when it's having the ace high suit, but yeah, okay, keep in mind, we have to keep in mind that we are very short and that this hand probably does, still does well against the button opening, opening range. So this has to be re raised too. No, what? What the fuck? I mean, these hands are not that. Different. This one actually has a better suit. Although like, suits are not that important anymore when not much play is left. So the better connectivity and the higher card on the other one was making this a re race. So, okay. We probably mess up here and have to do it again. Mm -hmm. But let's see. We have, I think, five wrong answers already and 30 more questions to go. So. That will be definitely a close one. Uh, Re-raise for sure. Call. Fold. Close. We might be out now. Call. Nope. Okay. Messed it up. Fold. 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 Re-raise. Fold. Call. Call or fold. Let's call. Call it this. Re-raise. Uh, this might be a trap. Looks beautiful, but might not be. Let's fold. Uh, fold is incorrect, but it's not a big mistake. Calling is what the solver suggests. Re-raise. Uh, fold. What? This is good enough to call. But yeah, 0 0.03 is the error I did, so... This is nothing to worry about too much, raise. Okay, that's again, the, the dangler, I guess, is what is making the difference. But it's again a small mistake. Fold, fold, call, call. Oh, that, that was a re-raise, I guess. Uh, let's check this out. Was this a, what was, was it, this one? It was a re-raise, okay. Call and call. Oh, this was 0 0.02 better only. Wait and raise. Call. Call. Ooh, interesting one. Call or fold. Let's call. Yep. Wait. Mm, call or re-raise? We are blocking. Queens and kings and aces, so let's re-raise. Re-raise it is. Um, I wonder what this hands prefer to do. Probably calling, I assume. Yeah, calling. 82%. We messed up. Not a big deal. Now you will have more hands to train your skills with. And I can improve as well, so... Should be good to do another one of these. Make this very big, so 
you see this very very well re-raise first one call the second fold the third fold again call let's call or erase oh, no chat to help here uh, let's call no nah, it's a re-raise this is close between calling and folding i think but let's call uh, i was right about it that it's close but it's not a call it's a fold that's a re-raise and that is two let's fold and we don't want to re-raise this one we want to re-raise that for sure and same here Oh, interesting one. Double pair. The minimum of connectivity, no suit. Never re raising. So the decision is between calling and folding. Ugh, I have no clue. Uh, we will have hit the set quite often. Oh, let's fold. No, it's not even close. This is a call still. Or well, probably all double pairs will get called, I assume. Yeah, the the discount on the big blind just has to be too huge in order to consider folding. You consider folding here, and this is also correct. This has at least a call. Maybe a re-raise. Let's re-raise instead. And re-raise it is. Fold for sure. Um, can be a call or a fold. Um, let's call. Oh, 0 0.01. Nice. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption. There was an issue with my Streamlabs OBS, and yeah, I, th I think we probably will now um, restart where we left off. So, this was a call. Let's go to the next hand. That's a fold, fold again. Um, probably call. Oh, 0 0.01 is a mistake I made here. This is a call too. Uh, no, not too. Because if one more force can wasn't a call, this is a fold. And call or fold, let's fold. Oh, this is a big mistake. I assumed um, that being that disconnected with the do's and the four, this might be a fold, but it's not. And that's a call or a re raise. Let's call and it's a re raise. Hope we don't have to do it again. Is this a call or a fold? Call it is. This is either a call or a fold. Let's call. Okay, again a mistake. Re-raise, call, call, re-raise, call, fold, re-raise. Let's call. Call is wrong. It's a fold. Re-raise, re-raise, call. Re-raise, call, fold, re-raise, call, call, fold, re-raise. Okay, that's a call. I think with one less club, it's probably re-raise. Because, yeah, it's making a huge difference if you have a king or queen. Because, yeah, you block with their strong hands from your opponent especially an ace is helping a lot do it did i said queen and king before yeah, i meant ace and king okay moving on raise and that's a call or a fold let's call call is correct and that's also a call or a fold let's call and that's incorrect fold it was and this is a fold for sure and we 
did worse than the last time so let's restart this again try to concentrate a bit more i was also thrown a bit off after these annoying error occurred i now also have to try to recover the recording because it also broken on my hard drive but i hope that i can get it from twitch and then upload to youtube too so without further rumbling let's go into it raising it's a re-raise uh, actually the situation again if you forgot is button raises and we are in the big blind and we have to decide what to do and it's only 30 we beat steep and that's a fold for sure re-raise or full or call let's re-raise and it's a call that's a call or fold let's call yeah 0 0.01 mistake call this for sure call again call or fold call i say fold re-raise call Okay, small mistake again. Re-raise. Call. 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 Ooh. Call, I guess. No. Okay, without a suit, this, this type of fence bullshit. We need to remember that. Call. Oh, look at this. Call and raise are exactly the same. UV. Re-raise. Void. Oh, the, interesting. This is good enough to defend, but again, a very tiny mistake. Call. Re-raise. 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 Call. Call. Nope. Re-raising. Hold. Call. Hold. Call. Hold. Call, hold, hold, re-raise, close one, call, nope, bigger mistake, these danglers seem to really destroy hands like these, re-raise, annoying hand for sure, let's fold, fold is correct, Hold again. Re-raise or call. Let's call. Call this. Hold. Call. Okay. Hold it is. Call. Fold. Re-raise. 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 Fold. Re-raise. Probably re-raise, might be a call. Let's call, call it this. 84, not making too much progress. I mean, 84 was the first run as well, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's try again. So the big blind defense actually is quite uh, difficult to do when short. And that's probably a call. It is a call. This should be a call too. And this is a re-raise. This is a re-raise for sure. This is a fold. This is a re-raise. This is a fold. Call, I say. And call it is. But we don't lose much if we don't call. Call again. Even tinier the EV you get from the one we just had uh, it was a 876 and this one probably is a fold it is oops oops uh, almost misclick um let's call okay 0 0.03 mistake uh, 0 0.03 bb mistake it was Hold and re-raise and re-raise. Oops, this was not a re-raise. So what is it? Call, I guess. Yeah, it has to be call. Um, hold, no call, but again, very, very close. Hold, call, re-raise, re-raise. 
call I say if it's wrong it's a fault this is the call pretty sure it is uh, re-raise fault 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 call re-raise bam nailed it call oh that's not a call small mistake but not a call Fold. Re-raise or call? Re-raise. Call. Call. Fold. Call. Ah. Sort of re-raise. Fold. Uh, fold. 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 Oh, that was not a fold. That was a call then. Uh, what's a call? Re-raise. Re-raise, re-raise, call, re-raise or call, re-raise I say, no call it is, um, re-raise, call, call, fold, re-raise, re-raise, Oh, slight improvement. Uh, let's let's do it one more time. Even if I don't, if I mess it up again, we will not restart it because this is probably not making a good video if I do the same stuff again and again. And let's call this one. Call again. Rerace. Call. Oh, 0 0.01 is the difference between calling and full on coding. Race and call. Re-race, I guess. Yep. Re-race again. Fold. 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 Oh, call, I think, but not sure. Yeah. Call again. No, this wants re-raise. That's kind of su surprising. Yep, re-raise, fold, re-raise. Fold or call? Let's go for the fold. Fold for sure. And call. Oh, actually not. This looked good enough for me. It's not, but yeah, the mystic isn't great. Uh, Re-raise. Fold. Fold. No. Tiny mistake. It's slightly better to call. Re-raise. Call. What the fuck? I was pretty confident that this is a call. It's not. That's a call. Yep. That's not a call. That's a fold. Another fold. Um, calling. Folding. 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 Oh, 0 0.01. Lucky that I got this one correct. Re-raise and call. And call. Call again. Call. Nope. Re-raise is what we want to do. I think we had this earlier. Yeah, Ace King Queen seems to be re-raising. This is again very tough. I want could be re-raise. Could be a call. Yeah, it's a re-raise, not a call. That's probably a call. Oh, come on. Fold. Call. Call. Re-raise. Re-raise. Nope, just a call. But yeah, it's not that big of a difference. Re-raise. And... 
fold, re-raise, call, call, re-raise or call? Let's call. Okay, call it is, uh, fold. Uh, again, no improvement. I mean, there are also so many spots that are so close together. I think I did no big mistakes in this one. They also lied. I said we will end this if I mess up again, but we will do it one more try, one more time. You can see there's a lot of um, room for improvement if you go through all these different stack sizes. It will be very hard to get a master in all of this, but if you manage to do that, you will have a great edge on the tables because most other people will also make mistakes and not only small ones, big ones too. So first two are folds. This is a re-raise. Fold and fold and call. Call or fold. Fold. No, it's call. Fold. Re-raise. Call or re-raise. Re-raise, I say. No, it's a call. Yeah, uh, this is so annoying, so hard to get these right. Call, I guess. No, again, a little bit better to fold, re-raise, fold. Very frustrating at the moment. Call, uh, it's a re-raise again. Call. Um, call. Call. Call or fold. Let's call. Now it's fold. Fold. Uh, re raise. Call. Fold. Call. Yeah, you saw there were there so many close ones. Uh, fold. Re raise and call. Call, 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 re-raise, fold. I wonder if that's the fold. Mm, I say no and I'm correct, but you see how marginal all these decisions are. Re-raise, re-raise. Forward, re raise, forward, call, call, re raise, re raise, call, re raise. Ugh, again, a very marginal one. Call, I say, and that's a bigger mistake. And this, this is again fold, I guess. Yeah, re raise, fold, and call, re raise, re raise. Uh, finally, we almost did it, and yeah, giving up now. This is just too frustrating, but at least we see improvements now. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and you have now a better understanding of preflop. If you didn't do already, hit all these nice nice buttons like subscribing and stuff. Yeah. Bye bye. Until next time and good luck at the tables.